Vintage culture is soon flourishing through a global trend, with the recent festival of thrift held in Darlington, as well as the vintage haven that is Baker Street, just a minute away from our student campus. I personally see that vintage lifestyle is something that is being more and more incorporated into people's lives, and therefore see a strong and exciting opportunity to create an online community to showcase the best that vintage has to offer. For example, fashion features, music, TV, movies, gaming, baking, etc. And I am aware that there is already magazines and blogs on the market that do cater for this, for example, Vintage Life magazine. However, I think I could create a niche by just targeting the student market and how they can access Vintage Lifestyle on a budget because I don't think that's something that's really catered for enough and really paid attention to a lot. Uh, I also feel that I would pay less maybe less attention to the materialistic aspects and more about the people and the community that it inspires. For example, I did an interview with Wayne Hemingway for my own blog and he really talked about how the journey that he's gone through vintage fashion and it just really helped create a story and more of a personalised feel. Um, I also feel that the website has a strong commercial potential. Uh, for example, advertising on the website, so I could advertise other fashion, other vintage fashion blogs, um, the Amazon widget to promote vintage inspired books, for example. Um, also, I could maybe even sell my own merchandise, uh, for example, personalised gifts and tote bags, and that really just helps push the brand forward and maybe help to create more of an identity. I could also maybe even push push the website even further by bringing it to life. For example, a vintage fair maybe held in our very own SU, uh, which would have live music, uh, clothing sales, bake sales, maybe even gaming sessions. And that really helps sort of help the readers to engage because they are becoming part of that community. And that's also a community that I can't wait to be part of. So thank you for listening.